My name is Bart Coppens, your sexy moth king. And today I am back with another video of an amazing species of moth that I would love to share with all of you. Let's get started. Today I'm going to show you the Lobabunea acetus. Do you see this amazing looking Saturnidae or Emperor moth here? Well, it's a species that came from Africa. It can be found in Angola, Cameroon, Central African Republic, Congo, Equatorial Guinea, Gabon, Ghana, Guinea, Ivory Coast, Kenya, Nigeria, Rwanda, Sierra Leone, Tanzania and Uganda. Isn't it an amazing beauty? The coolest thing about these are their caterpillars. This species can be raised on privet or ligustrum, willow or salix, cherry or prunus, mango or mangifera indica, eucalyptus, sweet gum, sweet gum or liquid amber, and more. They also feed on certain types of Anacardia sea, such as spondios. Sadly, I only raised four of them. This species is easy to grow in cages and plastic boxes. It's a very strong species in captivity. And it prefers room temperature or higher. Flight data suggests that this species has two generations per year or more, depending on the local microclimate. The caterpillars um, took about two months to grow from eggs to pupa on room temperature. It is interesting to note that they have metallic golden patches on their thorax. Can you see them? The reason I could not raise many of them is because in winter the quality of the food plants that I used deteriorated before all of them properly pupated. Darn, I wish to try again. When the caterpillars are ready to pupate they turn dark brown to red. It's clearly visible. This is called a pre-pupa. During this stage they will burrow underground and pupate. Here they can stay for a while. Pupa avoid the dry season and hatch into moths during the rainy seasons. Based on humidity, barometric pressure and temperatures, the moths will usually decide to hatch in two to seven months time. And then, finally, after a long wait, the specimens will hatch. Wait, is it there? Is it there? Yes, yes, yes. Oof. Now, um, usually I would end the fire video right here and now. I've shown you how I raised some of these guys. I've shown you how they pupate. And I've shown you an adult, but I'm not satisfied because I want to show you a perfect specimen. And I know this one is for 90% perfect. It's still not a good representative of its species. So I'm going to continue the video. This species is very eager to show off their eye spots, which are obviously a defense mechanism. The first specimen that hatched didn't really satisfy me. It was a pretty moth for sure, but it had an imperfection in the forewing that bothered me. So I can't finish the vlog yet. I'm not a perfectionist, but I do want all of my animals in my videos to have a representative um, appearance that is representative for the animal and the species. So after filming this pair of specimen you're currently looking at, I waited for a better looking one. Months and months went by until I saw something slowly creeping in the moth cage between a wave of huge atlas moths. Yes, please ignore the atlas moths, those are for a different video. Whew, and there it is. Isn't it just amazing? Unfortunately, I am not able to show you a female. I only raised males, much to my frustration. So this is going to be my short vlog for now. Hey, smell you later, cutie pies.